All right, so um, next question is, do I have to measure all my food to lose weight? What would you recommend if I don't want to, if I don't want to weigh my food? Okay, um, so the if you're very new to portion sizing, right? Then yes, I think weighing your food is very important. And I would even argue that it's, it's mostly important nine times out of 10. Where it doesn't become extra super important is when you're eating things like low carb vegetables and protein. Okay, um, the only concern you would have with protein would be not getting enough. So eating less than you need, but that's, that's a progressional step. You scale that anyway. If you're somebody who's new to eating like, you know, a protein source at every meal, then you start off small no matter where you're at. Um, and then vegetables because you would have to eat a, a rhinoceros amount of vegetables in order to get fat. It just wouldn't, you, you would not be able to do it. All right. And if you can do it, then please enter the Guinness Book of World Records and get a little prize because I've never seen it done and it's never been done. Um, where you want to start weighing your food is things like higher, higher, higher processed types of food. So like for instance, white rice can very easily be overdone because not only does it taste amazing if you're a fan of white rice, but it is also very easy to digest and relatively easy to eat. So what I like to say, if I'm just giving like a summary of this type of conversation is weigh all of your starch based carbohydrates. Okay. Way to make sure you get enough protein and don't worry about weighing vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, green beans, Brussels sprouts. Those are low carb vegetables. Okay. Um, in my coaching program, my nutrition coaching program, I give a very simple guide on how to do this. Um, that you don't even have to buy a food scale if you don't want to. Uh, although I highly recommend it because for 10 bucks, it basically saves you a ton of headache trying to make sure you get the right portions. Um, and do I weigh my food all the time? No, I don't. Um, more recently I have been because I'm trying to really adhere to this muscle building program that I'm doing. And part of that is making sure I get enough calories because naturally I do not eat enough calories to build muscle with how active I am as a coach and just in general, you know, I love to eat, but I, I know myself well enough to know when it's time to stop eating. So it's been an interesting journey um, doing that. Um, but, but I think that if, if I'm giving you the best piece of advice for this, hey, what's up, Sandra, uh, for this talk, I think that you should spend at least a couple of weeks weighing your food. And I know that it's like, takes 10 seconds out of your morning or 10 seconds out of your day or whatever, but get over it practice the skill, you'll be completely changed in how you view, uh, view food portions for the better. And after you get good at weighing your food and knowing what it looks like on average, you won't have to weigh it every single time you eat. Trust me, I don't always weigh my food. Um, but it's also so relieving to know that you're eating the right amount of food, right? Because the most frustrating thing during a, a diet or any type of weight loss um, journey is that you aren't doing exactly what you should be doing, at least to the degree that you can do it without, you know, overstressing yourself and your ability level. So, um, you know, I think that that's an important thing to keep in mind is that you have to make some si sacrifices when it comes to trying to lose body fat. It's not a perfect system where you're gonna get everything that you want and still, um, you know, lose weight at the same time. We can make it as easy as possible and as, and as painless as possible, but there is going to still be some, some things that you have to do that aren't currently in your, your lifestyle. Cause remember the habits that we repeat give us the same result. So if we don't change the habits that, that we want to change, then we're going to get the same result we currently have. So we, we have to think in terms of those, those lines. All right.